Welcome to day number 11 of our 40 days of power. God is helping us each day. He's ordering our steps. He's guiding us. And this week, we spent time talking about guidance, and we spent time also praying for guidance in our, all our prayer points and prayer devotions. And I, I, I trust that the Lord has brought us to a place where we can discern his will, we can hear his voice, we can pay attention to him when we read the scriptures and be guided by the Lord. Today, we are concluding our session or our teachings this week on guidance, and we are looking at Acts chapter 18, verses 9 to 10. Now, the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent, for I am with you, and no one will attack you to hurt you, for I have many people in this city. Paul's ministry in Corinth was a very major one. It, it brought in a lot of difficulties, but it also brought in fruit uh, of his ministry. And at this time, he's just entered Corinth, and he's tried to win the Jews to Christ. And they, they didn't want to hear him at all. Uh, but a couple of people just listened to him. And so God speaks to Paul and says, listen, you may face opposition. People may not tolerate you. People may not accept your message. But stay in this place because I have many people in this place. You know, sometimes in the midst of all our anxiety and, and things that don't seem to look right, God can still speak words of assurance and says, don't be afraid. I've still got this covered. I'm still with you. I'm still leading you. And I'm going to make this all right. And if you look at the passage, God spoke to Paul in the night and in a vision. So three things are happening here. The season is a night season. The medium God is using is a vision. But the message comes as a voice. So all of these are coming together to speak to Paul. And God says to him, don't be afraid to speak. There are many ways that God speaks to each one of us. Sometimes he speaks to us as we read the Bible. Sometimes he speaks to us as we pray and we hear his still small voice. Sometimes he speaks to us in a dream and sometimes in a vision. But the most important thing is, whatever the experience is, we must be sure that what we are hearing is God. And we cannot jump to conclusions that what we are hearing is God. We have to discern properly. We have to judge what we are hearing. And the interesting thing is that Jesus says to Paul, I am with you. And he says, no one will attack you to hurt you. You're not going to have it easy, but you'll be all right. It's not going to be a very easy process, but you will be all right. Because God says, I have you covered. As we come to the end of this week, I just want you to know God is speaking to you and say, I have you covered. It may not be easy, but I have you covered. And stay on track, stay obeying me, do what I've called you to be, be in the place I've called you to be to be. People may oppose you. Life may not be easy, but stay there because I will lead you. I will guide you and I will give you victory. And so as we contemplate what God is saying to us, may we be able to pay attention, have an ear to hear what God is saying to us. May we be able to discern when God is speaking to us. May we, like Daniel, be able to search the scriptures and find God's word and apply it to our situation and pray about it. And may we be like Paul in a night season, still have a vision from God that assures us that God is with us. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I know that you are with me. No scheme of the wicked one against me and my family will succeed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow as we start a new week. Shalom, peace, and life to you.